Hello, this is Cheryl Wilson again, and I wanted to show you a very simple, minimalistic design. Have you seen those prints that are out there, like on Etsy, Redbubble, there's several of them out there, where you go out there and you find a design and you grab it and you frame it? Well, I want to show you how to just very easily, with a large piece of uh, mixed media paper and a marker, how you can actually create your own design and have it your art, frame it, and then put it up in your room. There's different ways you can add a little pop. Here I added a little bit of gold. So hang on and I will show you how to do this very simply, very easily, and you can create the, your own art for your living room, your dining room, your office, a very minimalistic type of a style. If you look at the room here, you'll see the branches and the vase you'll see plants and you'll see the theme of this room is a plant in a botanical type of environment. So that is what I created here on paper to give the illusion that you're carrying the theme through into your art. This is the finished piece where it is matted and framed to kind of match the decor of whatever room that you want to use. And this is the actual piece before it is matted and framed. It's a very simplistic look. So I start just with a piece of, this is a mixed media paper and there will be a link below to tell you uh, this particular size, but you can get any size and from any brand. And I just take a very simple black Sharpie and I just start drawing a design. And in this case, I wanted to keep a botanical look because the room had very natural textures. It had a room with plants and it just seemed to call for a very minimalistic type of a piece of art that um, I knew I could create by just drawing and a lot of times they are prints that you can get online but if you can do it yourself that even makes it all the more of a unique piece because you can add it into your room and you've created it yourself so I'm just looking at the um, very simple design these are leaves sometimes i do the leaves right across from each other i do fat leaves i do thin leaves i do narrow leaves sometimes i do design where the other side doesn't seem to match but i'm just randomly drawing with the sharpie on the piece of paper different shapes of leaves in a very free type of a um, drawing you just fill in the paper and then later I'll go back and add a color I, you don't have to but in this particular case I had a gold pop that kind of matched the theme of the room too actually here I'm showing it's a different plant that I drew and I'm just showing it by um, bringing the plant stems a little closer together and I'm going to add well on this one I'm going to actually cut very narrow and add to a very narrow frame so there's uh, just you know all sorts of possibilities that you could do with this particular style uh, there I added a leaf that was kind of like um, with a little heart shape to it so uh, really just enjoy the process of drawing out your different stems of your 
uh, plant and then you can see I have um, a frame there that kind of guide me to keep the the drawing within the frame because this is going to be a narrow frame and again I can add any color I want if I want to add a pop if I want to paint maybe two or three of the leaves green if I want to add you know like a turquoise or just keep it the black and white another option is to even go in and add some splatter I love splatter and so a lot of times I may put a pop of splatter so just enjoy um, me drawing the rest of this and um, uh, see where it goes.